Got a special deal for you folks today. It's a great deal, a one-time offer, a free deal, a lifetime supply of disappointment, anger, frustration, sadness, and everything wrong in the world. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, you will get all the Lions content that you don't want. You'll get all the sadness and anger that will frustrate you. And that's exactly what this channel brings. In this video, we're going to be talking about the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions. PFF did power rankings. Where do Lions rank in that power rankings? We got all Lions. They talk about Five free agents, the Detroit Lions should go ahead and sign before training camp. We're going to talk about those players. And, of course, CBS Sports taking a major dump on head coach Dan Campbell. We're going to talk about is that justified or not. Let's just go ahead and begin. Power rankings. They mean absolutely nothing. Let's just go ahead and just get that out of the way. It means nothing. It doesn't change the aspect of what a team does, wins or losses, any of that. But it's kind of fun just to see what the media thinks about our team. So I always like to look at power rankings, especially after each Sunday. Generally, they come out on a Tuesday after the Monday Night Football game. So get to look at it and what they think. Here is the power rankings right now for PFF before the season starts. They got Buffalo Bills at 1-1 all the way down and they got 32 CLC Hawks the final spot but if you look at number 24 that's our Detroit Lions right there in the blue they have the Lions sitting at 24 is this justified in my opinion yeah I think this is a good spot for the Detroit Lions last year we we're statistically the second worst team in the NFL that's why we picked the second in the draft we had a lot of issues and they're moving the Detroit Lions all the way up to 24 Obviously, with the acquisitions that we did in the draft and free agency, as well as the uh, trajectory of the Detroit Lions, you know, going in the right direction, I think that's why they moved them up to 24. I think that's a fine spot right now because guess what? No game has been played. And when a no game has played, it doesn't really matter. What I really do like about this is how they got the Chicago Bears at 31. I concur. I think there's some issues for that football team. And Seattle at 32, 100% justified. Drew Locke, terrible. Terrible quarterback. Let's get to 400 likes in this video. All I got to do is hit that like button. The more likes we get, the more chance that Chat Sports doesn't take their foot and shove it up my two points of contact. Because I don't like that. They got some big feet over there. 12, 13, shoe. That's going to kill me. And I really don't want that. So go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get into the five free agents that... The Lions should go ahead and sign before free agency. All Lions fan nation. The first guy they have here is Sheldon Richardson. 24 solo tackles, two and a half sacks, one forced fumble. Interesting here about the players that they got. Because you're going to notice that there's a lot of offensive tackle and defensive tackle. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of think that's the strength of this football team. All the players they can get, they went these positions. Interesting here. I don't mind if the Lions signed a free agent. For training camp, John John Penasini retired, so they feel like they can get they can get another guy here. I guess I get it. I understand it. Still, I kind of would like to go in the different direction of something else, you know, instead of just these positions right there. Another defensive tackle they thought the Detroit Lions should sign is Larry Ungajobi. He had 29 solo tackles. He had seven sacks, zero forced fumbles, zero interceptions. Pretty good for this guy here. Again, same thing with Sheldon Richardson. If you're going to go ahead and sign him, I get it. But there is other positions the Lions need to go ahead and figure out. But he would definitely help out the Detroit Lions defensive line. That's no doubt about it. How about some offensive line? They went guard, two guards here. They got John Miller guard, free agent here. He is... You know, 6'3", 315 pounds, 28 years old. Don't really understand it. I mean, I feel like we're good at guard. Even the backups, Evan Brown, I'm fine with. Tommy Kramer, I'm fine with. I'm not, not too big on this one. But they could sign him from here. I kind of say go a different direction. And for another guard, they got Riley Reef. Y'all know him. The Detroit Lions picked him up talked about when he was in college how he ran naked 
butt naked. That's when I really appreciated the Lions drafting him was I heard that story. But he was a good Detroit Lion for the Lions for some time here. But again, do we really need another guard? I don't know. I think the one position I, I did like here is they wanted to go quarterback, and this was the backup quarterback position. Garrett Gilbert. Career stats here. He has 477 yards, 57.3 completion percentage, one touchdown, one interception. Why do I say go ahead and do it? Why? Because why the hell not? You're just competing with David Blau, Tim Boyle. Bring in more quarterbacks to compete with these guys. I'm all about it. Because our quarterbacks suck after Jared Goff. I'm not high on it. Actually scared. Jared Goff goes down. Rut row. Now this guy is, he bounced from team to team to team, but I have no problem bringing in any quarterback. Hell, bring in some USFL quarterbacks, XFL former quarterbacks. Bring anybody to compete with David Blau, Tim Boyle. The Lions must get better at that position. And that's what I think here. Because it's sad to see Tim Boyle, David Blau, and it would be real sad to see if Jared Goff goes down, I get told, man, backup quarterback position means absolutely nothing. Well, hey, that's your opinion. But if Jared Goff goes down, I want a chance to win a game. I'm not saying we're going to win a game. The odds definitely goes down if he's out, but I want a chance. And right now, if Tim Boyle's in there, we ain't winning a football game, folks. I mean, I guess they can go ahead and hand the ball off every single play. You can do something like that. Do you really want to see that? Why not? Just get any competition. I I don't have a problem with that. You turn over every rock. Don't care. That's what, you know, getting the best 53, if you're going to have a backup, do that. I just want a chance to win a game, even though there's a great chance you're going to lose when you lose your starter quarterback. Spam the comment section, folks, with FGB. Do you like Green Bay? Well, if you do, I guess you're probably not going to do this. But if you don't, put Hashtag FGB. I'm trying to start a trend here. There's nothing wrong with saying FGB. You know what the F stands for. You know what the GB stands for. Go ahead and spam the comment section. Now, CBS Sports. Folks, I got I to gotta go off on this one because CBS Sports did a rankings of head coaches. Where do you think the Detroit Lions rank? Third worst in the NFL. They have him third worst. Worst in the NFL. Give me a break, CBS. That is absolutely ridiculous. I should do F CBS. You can do that in the comment section as well. That is ridiculous. He is not the third worst coach in the NFL. Not third worst. Come on. Give me a break. There's coaches out there. You really even think there's a future? A lot of these guys use Texans. No. How about the Chicago Bears coach? No. I mean, come on. I mean, there's tons of head coaches out there. You're telling me Dan Campbell is the third worst? Give me a freaking break. You know, this is what the media does. No matter what, they just want to take massive dumps on the Detroit Lions. That's what they do. That's They, they think, you know, I'm so smart. All I got to do is... Dump on the Detroit Lions every chance we get. Dan Campbell is a pretty damn good head coach, if you ask me. He has players believing in him. If you look at last year, hell, our talent wasn't that great, but every single game, except for maybe the Eagles game, the Detroit Lions were fighting their tails off to win this game. They were in every game, even when they were completely out of the playoff hunt. We're in oh and 8 but they still fought all the way to the final game of the year. That means that the players believe in the coach. That's what it means. Absolutely. And he's hired a great coaching staff around him who love him. So he's the third worst in the coach. He went for it a ton on fourth down, did a lot of trick plays, and it worked. He's made a lot of great decisions. Hell, it wasn't for Dan Campbell... If Matt Patricia was the coach last year, I could guarantee you we go 0-17. Uh, I don't get it. 
It's so funny. We hire Matt Patricia. I never forget this. We hire Matt Patricia, folks, and the media fell in love. Oh, he's going to bring. He's so smart. He's so great. He knows it all. He's a rocket scientist. Yeah, we're, how, how well that work out? He was a dumpster fire. Well, Dan Campbell, he's just a, he's just a meathead. <sighs> CBS Sports, you've been trashing on the lines a lot this offseason, man. You know, you guys are really starting to hurt your credibility. Always taking cheap shots and dumb shots on the Detroit Lions this offseason. Well, I, I tell you what, they're gonna, he's going to prove you wrong. And I'm no Lions homer. I have seven to eight wins. But he's done a phenomenal job with the talent he has. He's brought the best out of coaches and the best out of players that you could possibly ask for with this roster. How it was given to Brad Holmes. Last year, the Patricia regime destroyed this thing. And they did the best they could in one year. Hell, year two, great draft picks. Good offseason acquisitions. You know, good workout so far. Give me a break, CBS Sports. Everybody in the comment section right now, I want you to destroy CBS Sports. Drop some big old bombs on them. Do hashtags, start to trend. Do everything. Let's show these folks that they're a bunch of A-holes. That'd be really, really nice. In the upcoming videos, got a video drop tomorrow. We got a video Friday, video Saturday, and we're live, One Pride Podcast on Thursday, my favorite time, where you had questions, we may have answers, all I gotta do is pop up, have a good time, show up, follow me on all social media sites, and we'll get at it, One Pride.